horseman Vince Copeland has been a fixture on our Delaware circuit for a decade, but recently entered the Harness Racing Hall of Fame in Michigan. What's that all about? <laughs> Let's get the 411 in this Heather on the spot. Vince Copeland's very first paramutual victory happened when he was just a teenager at Northville Downs in Michigan. Driving a trotter in the mud and crossing the wire in 209. Since that initial milestone win, Vinny, as he's known to a lot of family and friends, has racked up over 5,000 more victories. Copeland has earned several driving titles across the country, and he received the Michigan Harness Horsemen's Association's Horseman of the Year Dan Rathko Award in 1999. So what tops that? Oh, just being voted into the Michigan Harness Racing Hall of Fame this past year. That's all. First of all, so cool, so incredibly cool. How are you feeling? Like, what was your feeling when you got the phone call? Or was it an email? How did you even know? I'm so excited about this. <laughs> I got a phone call. They called me, and uh, I was kind of shocked, really. Didn't know what to say, you know. It was a big honor. I was really happy about it. So what happens next? Then you make the drive out to Michigan? Because um, it's kind of cold there right now, right? This just happened a few weeks ago. <laughs> yeah, luckily the weather wasn't that bad. You know, I think it was around 15. But we flew out, spent a couple days, you know, went to the banquet and um, flew out the next morning. Now, there's a reason that you are in this Michigan Harness Racing Hall of Fame. You know, you spent a lot of years in Michigan. So, you know, let's start from finding out what generation horseman you are and tell me about the different places that you've raced. God. Well, I'm third generation and I've raced probably just about everywhere in the United States. You know, I've been from Maine to California, so um, I race a lot in Canada. You know, I was in Jersey for a while, I was in California for a year. I um, went back to Michigan and spent a lot of years in Michigan, probably 20 years in Michigan. I was there a long time. So when you were in Michigan and you said you spent a lot of years there, you kind of set up shop. So, you know, where were you racing when you well, were in Michigan? We raced, at that time there was five tracks going in Michigan. And Canada was only 30 minutes away. So I raced mostly in Michigan and then Canada. And then, uh, you know, the odd stakes, you know, I'd go there. But, you know, we raced the fairs and... Uh, for our Colts and we had like five tracks going so they raced year round you know a lot of times so there's a lot of racing at that time in Michigan and then it fell apart and that's why I came out here yeah because you've been here for 10 years <laughs> yes seems 10 like years. yesterday right yes it does yes it does ah. that's where I met you 10 years ago that's right yep. that's yep. right time flies when you're having fun so yes. You were so successful in Michigan. Obviously, that's why you are in the Michigan Harness Racing Hall of Fame. Uh, but it's hard to be successful unless you have some people backing you. And we do want to do full disclosure by saying you did not give a speech at the awards dinner, but we are making you give a speech now on post time. <laughs> so there's got to be a few people to definitely thank. Yes, my wife, Terry, my dad for starting me out, you know, my daughters. Uh, Nicole and Danielle, and all the people that I drove for, people that give me horses to train, you know, you're only as good as what you get. And I mean, it, the, the biggest thing for me is all the good people that I've met in this business. You know, that that's what I really like. It's just, you know, you remember the good horses, you know, and like that, but there's the people behind the horses that gave you the opportunity to do it. So that was uh, an enjoyable thing about it. Now, I love that. We are. We're a great, big, uh, wonderful community, harness racing is, you know, no matter what state you're in. So. Yes, it was. And that was the fun thing about the banquets. I haven't seen some of my friends in 10 years. And, and it was just really a, a fun time. Congratulations. Again, I could not have happened to a better guy. I'm telling you, uh, you are so popular and so well liked, Vince. So congratulations on this huge award. All right. Thank you. Appreciate it.